What's up everybody? Welcome to Elevation Dent Company. In today's video, we've got a Nissan that got hit hard in the rear end. In this video, we're going to be doing the collision work, pulling the frame, plus doing the paint work. You're going to want to check this one out. Let's get to it. All right guys, here's what we're working with. This thing took a nasty blow to the rear end. We need a new hatch, new body panel, new tail lamp pocket. I'm gonna try to save this quarter panel. It's all buckled up and through here. Lower quarter panel's all smashed up as you can see. Quarter panel on through here is buckled. There is no door gap. It's touching the quarter panel down through here. Buckled up and through here. I'm surprised this quarter glass didn't bust. Wow. Here's a look at the inside. Rear body panel just all mangled up. Can't really tell how much damage is behind this without getting a clamp on this and getting it all pulled out. But I know for sure a lot of the interior pieces are busted. It looks like there's a wiring harness back in there that got all chewed up. It looks like the main point of impact was right through here. I'm not 100% sure if this frame rail is kinked or not. I won't know until I get it up on the lift. I'm gonna get this hatch taken off to get that out of my way. I'm gonna get this thing all clamped down and make some pulls on this thing. I wanna grab it right here and see how much this metal I can rip back out. After that, I'll be able to see what we're working with inside of here. I got a new rear body panel some tail lamps some bumper brackets i got an aftermarket lift gate that i had to do some repairs on it came in damaged and i also got a new bumper for it i'm also waiting on some more parts to come in but for now we can get this thing clamped down get some pulls made on it and see what we're working with <laughs> All right, I got this thing pulled out of the booth. I got it completely clamped down. Uh, what I'm gonna do is hook a couple clamps up to this. Uh, I'm gonna get right here on this pinch weld and then probably put some hooks in through here and make some pulls coming straight out on this exactly where it got hit at. My goal here is get this quarter panel all straightened up, get all this pushed out so I can cut this rear body panel off, uh, get this gap open back up to its original position. <laughs> I got all this metal roughly bent back around to a point to where I can start cutting it all off now. I'm gonna leave this car completely clamped up on a rack because once I get this metal removed uh, off the vehicle, I still gotta make some pulls to this inner structure in here, but I can't get access to that with all this in the way still. Uh, I got my quarter panel all bent back around. I got my quarter panel gap back in the uh, quarter panel and the door panel. I'm gonna grab some tools. I'm gonna get this whole entire rear body section cut out. I'm gonna remove this tail lamp pocket out of the way, make some pulls in through here.
All right, guys, I got my rear body panel sitting on here. It's clamped down here in the corners. I don't want to go too far with this until I get my hatch on uh, and get it all latched up to make sure it's all fitting properly. I'll put my seal in it, make sure it's, uh, we got really good gaps in here and it's all sealing up for us. I got the inner wheelhouse all pulled out. Uh, when that all got smashed, it buckled all this in through here. So I had to get all this cut out of the way uh, to make them pulls on that. Unfortunately, with this being a self-pay job and the customer only having liability on this, all this is getting paid uh, out of pocket from them. So the original plan was to re obviously replace the body panel brand new and to get all this uh, tail lamp pocket and inner structural panel. Unfortunately, this whole entire panel here, this tail lamp pocket and this inner structure is like a $700 part uh, according to Nissan. So we're already on a super tight budget on this. So what we're gonna have to do is reuse uh, the original tail lamp pocket and the inner structural piece. This thing's really not in that bad of shape. I was actually trying to be really careful when I was making them pulls because I wasn't 100% sure if we were getting new parts in here or not. Um, I just ran a DA sander over all this to break up all the loose paint. I would like to put all new sheet metal in here. It would just make for a really clean job, but unfortunately in this situation, we just can't do that. So what I'm gonna do is get this tail lamp pocket, get it sitting back up in this area. I'm gonna use my old seam sealer lines to kind of line everything up uh, back where it was originally. And then I'm gonna hang my hatch and put my seal in uh, test fit the tail lamps, test fit the bumper, make sure everything's lined up. And then once I know 100% we're good, I'll start welding this whole thing back up again. All right guys, I got everything mocked up on this before I weld everything together. I got the hatch uh, latching, I got the seal in it, the rear body panels right where it needs to be. Uh, put the bumper and the tail lamps on, it all fits pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is tear all this apart now and I'll go ahead and weld this rear body panel and that rear tail lamp pocket up. So what I've decided to do, I'm gonna get this thing off the frame rack, I'm gonna get it back down on the ground and I'm actually gonna put it up over here on my lift. I'm gonna get it up in the air cause it'll make for a lot uh, easier for me to weld this rear body panel and the tail lamp pocket and all that stuff. Up. up on top of that once i get done welding when i do my seam seal job up underneath the uh the bottom of the rear body panel it'll be a lot easier when i got it up in the air <laughs> All right guys, I got these areas prepped here. These are where the buckles were when that quarter panel got smashed in. So let's get some filler on this. I'm gonna be using this Evercoat Rage Gold for Bondo. Then for Putty, I'm gonna be using this Medallion by Rubber Seal. First thing I'm gonna do is run over this with my DA sander. I've got a little uh, mini uh, DA sander by Snap-on that's got a piece of 80 grit stuck to it. All right, we got everything sanded out. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is put a light coat of putty over all this and bring all this together as one congruent piece. All right, we got all the body work on this completed. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is get this thing all taped up and I'm gonna put uh, two coats of high build primer down on this. All right, we're gonna be using this Rubber Seal 2K primer. Uh, here's the catalyst for it. Uh, this mixes at a four to one ratio, but I don't really need that much primer. I would probably mix it at like a two to a half.
All right, I got everything primed up. What I'm gonna do now is hit this with some guide coat. And this is gonna show all my flaws, all my sand scratches. And I'm gonna come in through here and block all this uh, out with some 320 grit. Now what I'm gonna do is jump to the back half of this and get some seam sealer on this. For the outside of the body panel, I'm gonna be using this black seam sealer by Sim. And for the inside, I'm gonna be using this more flexible seam sealer in a sausage tube by Rubber Seal. All right guys, we're gonna be spraying all Lemco product on this vehicle. Uh, we got some sealer, some base coat, and some clear coat. I'm gonna start off first by putting one really wet coat of sealer down, and this sealer is ready to spray right out of the can. There is no mix for it. I'm gonna be painting with two GTI guns. This one right here is gonna be for base and sealer. The other one's straight clear coat. Since this is a solid black color, I'm just gonna be panel painting this quarter panel and I'm gonna stop my blend right up in through here. And uh, I've got this tunnel built right here. So I'm gonna uh, blow my color right through here, blow my clear right through here, pull this paper off, and then I'm gonna uh, burn it all in uh, once this paper's removed up there, plus down here on the bottom part of the dog leg. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and mix up the base coat. This is just uh, two parts base, one parts reducer. I'm gonna put two coats base down on this, medium to wet coats. All right, now we're gonna mix the clear coat up and it's four parts clear, one part hardener, one part reducer. The clear coat's the exact same way as the base, two coats, medium to wet.
My main goal was to get this vehicle fixed, get it roadworthy again on a very, very extreme budget. And I think I accomplished that here. Still got some work to do on this vehicle. I gotta do some wet sanding and buffing on it. I gotta get the emblems put back on it. And I gotta do some repair work to the inside of the uh, wiring harness. Uh, some of the wires got uh, ripped up in the impact of the collision. I'm also waiting on some uh, miscellaneous parts still from the Nissan dealership. So I went ahead and put the vehicle back together just to give you guys an overall look of what the uh, end result turned out like. That's a wrap on this one, guys. Let me know what you think about this repair down in the comments below. For being on such a massive budget and having limited parts i think this repair turned out okay most of our tools and all of our online trainings are linked down in the description below thank you guys for the support i'll catch y'all on the next one take care guys